Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel English Literature Made Easy with Saswati. In this video, I will talk about the English poet and playwright Ben Jonson. So do stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Ben Jonson's full name was Benjamin Jonson. After Shakespeare, Ben Jonson is considered to be one of the most notable playwrights uh, in the English literature during the reign of James I, which was considered to be the Jacobian period in English literature and it spans from 1603 to 1625. One thing about Ben Jonson is that he was a moralist and he intended to instruct the world as it is evident in his comedies. But his contemporary playwright Shakespeare was an artist first and he was more interested to provide amusement to the audience rather than instructing them about virtue and vice. Now let's look at Ben Jonson's biography. Ben Jonson was born in London in 1572, shortly after his father's death, and he died in the year 1637. He had his early education at Westminster School, but he could not complete his education, but he was influenced during his time at Westminster School by the classical scholar William Camden. So uh, firstly, uh, since he couldn't complete his formal education, Ben Jonson worked uh, firstly as an assistant bricklayer, uh, with his stepfather and then he became a volunteer soldier and fought with the English forces uh, in the Netherlands in the 80 years war against Spain. Then he returned to England and became an actor and a playwright. Johnson popularized the comedy of humors. He wrote 18 complete plays and left behind two unfinished plays. Among his best known comedies are Every Man in His Humor, Every Man Out of His Humor, Volpone, Epicene or the Silent Roman, The Case is Altered, The Alchemist, Bartholomew Fair, The Devil is an Ass. He wrote two of his major plays entirely in prose, which was something unusual in his age. His major comedies exhibited a strong disdain for the world in which he lived and it readily exposed the follies and vices. Johnson wrote two tragedy plays. There, Cesar knows his fall published in 1603, and Catiline, his conspiracy, published in 1611. Cezanus is a politically themed play about corruption in the Roman Empire, but the authorities were displeased with him, and he was briefly imprisoned for it. Johnson collaborated with fellow poet and playwright Thomas Nash for the satirical comedy The Isle of Dogs. But due to its seditious content, arrest warrants were issued for both Nash and Johnson. But uh, Nash fled and Johnson was in prison for a short while. Johnson began his theatrical career by writing plays for Philip Henslow's theatre company. Uh, as I already mentioned, Ben Johnson was an actor and apparently one of the significant roles that Johnson played was that of Hieronimo in Thomas Keats's play, The Spanish Tragedy. Johnson, as if couldn't keep himself away from controversy and this time he killed a fellow actor named uh, Gabriel Spencer in a duel for which he received capital punishment, but he evaded his punishment simply because he could read from the Latin Bible. It may sound unrealistic, but it is one of the fascinating facts about Johnson. Following this incident, Johnson, who was raised a Protestant, embraced Roman Catholicism. Johnson also wrote masks for James Wan's court, such as Mask of Beauty, the Satyr, Oberon, the fairy prince and mask of blackness. You can watch my uh, other video on mask and anti-mask uploaded in my channel to know more about it. Now moving on, he became poet laureate in 1619 but it was not a formal appointment. He was buried in Westminster Abbey with the inscription O Rare Ben Johnson. He was perhaps the only person to be buried in an upright position. Some believe that this was due to uh, his poverty to buy a bigger grave, while others believe that he requested the monarch for an 18 inches square grave, and hence he received an upright grave to exactly fit in the requested space. Johnson's admirers call themselves Tribe of Ben or the Sons of Ben, who were influenced by his poetry and they regularly met at London taverns. Among the Sons of Ben were writers Robert Herrick, Richard Lovelace, Sir John Suckling, and Thomas Carey. So that's all for this video. If you like the video then do like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And 
do follow me on instagram and my facebook page called english literature made easy with saswati for literary updates and quizzes every day till then take care of yourselves bye bye and in my next video i'll be talking about uh, one of the most important plays written by ben johnson called the alchemist so do stay tuned and i'll see you soon thank you Thank you.